I'm David Weinberger. I'm a senior researcher at Harvard's Berkman Center for Internet and Society and a fellow at Harvard's Shorenstein Center. And I'd like to make a plea for going meta, that is, for not just teaching our students what they need to know, but even more important than that, teaching them what it means to know, how to know, to be reflective about the act of knowing. And I think we've always done that to some extent, of course, as educators, but I think it's crucial now in the networked age for two reasons. The first is that in the old days, before the internet, uh, items had to go through a filtering process. And so if you were reading a book, just the fact that it got published told you that there was probably something of worth and value in it. It wasn't just made up. It made it into a library even better. But now, of course, anybody can publish whatever they want, which is awesome and amazing and transformative. But it also means that the fact that you, the fact that you came across it, the fact that it was published, that it's on the net, does not tell you anything at all about whether it has any value or uh, tremendous value. And so for that reason, students, I believe, right from the very beginning, from kindergarten on, need always, as they go out onto the net and do their, their work, uh, always need to be given help and understanding, explicit understanding in how you evaluate information sources and sites. Uh, the second reason why it's especially important in the age of the internet um, to help our students become meta in their understanding is that we, we are all local creatures. We are who we are because of our culture, our teachers, our, our parents, our language, our, where we are in history, our geography. All of this makes us who we are, and we can never fully escape that. It's, a, it's not a, a limitation so much as a condition of being a human being, that we are very, very local. But now we are in a, 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 an environment that is absolutely global. We're local creatures who can encounter people from all around the world with vastly different ways of, of thinking, ways of knowing, and ways of talking. And it's very easy, unfortunately, to um, assume that the person that you're talking with, who's coming from a, a literal different place, um, actually uh, sounds like you, and so you can assume too much about similarities and commonalities. Um, and conversations can go very, very wrong about that, so in that way. So it becomes really important to be explicit in our conversations, whether it's an actual voice conversation over the net or it's an exchange of, of emails or some form of writing. It becomes really important to be absolutely explicit, as explicit as you can be, about where you're coming from, and what your expectations are, uh, including your expectations for how the discourse, how the conversation or exchange is going to, um, what's acceptable um, in that sort of conversation. Without that, we can have conversations that stop too soon or go wrong because we haven't acknowledged our locality, our sort of mutual localities. And so that's the second reason why, um, in the age of the internet, it's crucial that we, in my view, that we educate our students to be aware of these hidden differences between us so that we can talk and learn together more effectively. But that means becoming more meta-aware. Mm -hmm.